Hi all, Hal here with more Space Engineers, yay! And as you can see, we have a little our little scout ship out there hovering around. Adding a little bit of light over on the uh, the new base that we are going to be welding up. Uh, I didn't turn Bob off fast enough, so he's already started welding up a little bit of the, out the exterior of the ship. Um, when that is done, that is actually going to replace this one. So we're going to break this down eventually. Um, so today... We're going to build that, break this down, and I don't know, maybe even jump off this thing before we before we break down. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, we need to get started, so let's go. Okay, everybody. So... Basically, just been getting a few things wrapped up. Hope was trying to get, well, trying to wait for the sun to come up. And as you can see, it looks like we're starting to get a little bit of light in the, the distance there. Uh, we're starting to see a little bit of light over here that's telling us that, yes, the sun is on its way up. So I didn't want to have to do most of this at night. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go with what we've got. So right now, what we have done is we've moved most things over into the uh, the little runabout. Yes, I did rebuild it. For those who were here for the live stream on Friday, you got to see Sharky destroy it three times. <laughs> uh, actually, he destroyed it twice. He destroyed it twice. <laughs> we rebuilt it three times. Oh, so anyway. Oh, let me see here. We've got a little bit more to move over. We just want to make sure we've got as much stuff built as we can uh, because what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get over I did actually manually build the large reactor because once we turn Bob on and we have him over there working for us if you notice there is actually a completed Bob over there as well so once we have enough of this once we have enough of the new base built and operational the idea is that we're going to basically offload the rest of the resources over there to let the refineries over there run, as well as the assemblers. And uh, from there, what we will end up doing is basically letting it finish building itself. Now we have gone ahead and marked all of our thrusters over here for removal. So once we get this thing over there, get Bob running, you know, basically getting the, uh, the initial stuff built, We'll turn on the bob over here to start breaking down the pieces that we're not using. Uh, specifically the thrusters and some of the other things. And uh, what we will eventually do is bring the big ship over with that bob and mark this entire thing for breakdown. Alright, so that is the plan. We're going to go ahead and disconnect. We're going to go ahead and lower. And she is mighty full. There's a ridiculous amount of stuff in this trunk <laughs> all right so are we going to even be able to move you know what I think this is gonna be one of those cases where it's more prudent to go this way because <laughs> I really don't want to get stuck And we may end up getting stuck anyway. All right, so. <laughs> can we look around? Yeah, we can. Okay. So we're going to see if we can get ourselves where we are not dragging butt quite so much. Oh, should use the 5x5s. Five five Alright, so we know next time we're going to use the 5x5 five five wheels. <laughs> we may actually end up building a uh, utility crane for this thing. Basically to pick it up so that we can actually rebuild the, the ship when we need to. Because uh, we're going to need to change a few things around anyway. One of the things that I want to do is actually change the way the connector works. Because on the new ship or on the new base, I should say, the um, the connector is actually going to be on top of the cargo. Whoop. That was my foot hitting the desk. Come on, you can do it. You can do it! <laughs> oh, 
this is hilarious. Come on. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get this thing over here to the ship. See if we can... A little bit heavy mass on this thing, it looks like. There we go. Almost there. I need to be very careful not to hit the damn jump button. For those who don't know, in the most recent update, or I should say in the big update that they did a little over a week ago now, uh, by the time you're seeing this video, basically um, the folks at Keen decided it would be a good idea to give <laughs> vehicles, particularly wheel-based vehicles, the ability to jump. Don't ask. It, it was obviously not well thought out, <laughs> or if it was well thought out, it was not very well implemented. Let's go ahead and turn our parking brake on. We are going to turn. Whoop, where did. We're going to go ahead and turn Bob on here. And we want to make sure he is actually set up correctly. There we go. Mining Bob. Okay, so we want him to. Build new. Uh, we want him to use a grind color. Actually, let me switch my color over. Really? That's rather annoying. Okay. So that's our color, and we're going to go back in here really quick. Now, with the uh, the changes to the game, they've basically, I've, I've mentioned this a few times, they've changed the way that the colors are determined in game now. So you now have the hue, saturation, and value, which is the old system. In the new system, you have hue, saturation, well, no, okay, I'm sorry. Right, the labels are the same, the way that they do these are different. So it's really difficult to get exact numbers in the color picker, but you can do it easily in Bob. So what you do is once you have your colors, you go into whoop, there we go. You go in here. You go. You want to use its. You want to pick the current build color. If you set the current build color, what will happen is is the color that you have selected in the color picker. Whatever values you set here, and when you click this button, that's what your current color tab is going to become. If you say pick whatever your current color tab is already set to, is what. Bob is reset to, as you see here. Yeah, we're gonna have him not do all of this. We want him to do near. Fr uh, it doesn't really matter. All right, and we don't have an ignore color, so that's fine. All right, so let's turn Bob on. He's going to start building things for us just in time for the sun to be coming up which means I can actually land our little spot ship over here and for the rest of this uh, I think we're gonna be doing a little bit of time-lapse because I really want to get this done today so um, yeah <laughs> alright so sit back relax and enjoy
never get nervous, do you? With all the right cards in your hands. I'm breathing just to feel my body. You're screaming just to say you're sorry.
You said let's jump on the bus and take a ride downtown. Well, I don't know about that. But can you help me first to get these boxes down? Well, I don't know about that. We have the whole day now just to ourselves so we can clean the house or clear out some shelves. You said whichever you feel like doing first, I said, well, I don't know about that. Cause it's my lazy day, just wanna lazy away. Ain't gonna do a thing for the rest of the day. You can try to seduce me, make me wanna play. I don't know about that. Mm-hmm. I don't know about that. Let's call some friends over for a game of poker or so. I don't know about that Or should I turn on the TV or the radio Well, I don't know about that but There's a whole list full of all the things we can do But I want to do Alright, and we're back And as you can see We have gotten quite a lot done today the new base is mostly up and running. I want to actually check in here. Oh, hello. <laughs> I need to be careful of those. We'll have to uh, patch those up here shortly. All right. So for uh, the folks who weren't here for the live stream on Friday when we were working on laying out the space, let me give you a quick tour through here just to show you what we've got going on and explain a little bit about what's going on with it. So I really liked the lift and because wheeled vehicles are somewhat usable now, the idea is that this base is uh, going to basically be a mobile mining operation. So once we have everything up and running, the little mine cart that we have running around over there will actually pull up on here that'll come up, we'll get it connected to the ship. Um, the idea is that we will have probably a couple of different connectors, pardon me, a couple of different connectors set up so that the different vehicles can uh, connect in in different ways. Now, one of the things that I am thinking about doing is since we have this conveyor here, I'm thinking I may run uh, conveyor tube around and put a connector over here so that when the vehicle that we have comes up it can basically come over here and park and basic and uh, have a connection into the inventory which will be on that block I believe this block right here um, because of the way that it's set up that should be about where it needs to be I think I'll have to bring it up here and find out uh, but before I can do that I have to have all of this welded up because it's the uh, the car itself might break that when it's bouncing around on it so oh yes there you go so you come in here this is going to be our basic operations area we're gonna have all of our LCDs in here uh, this will basically have like all of our inventory, our ship status stuff, anything uh, that's, you know, need to know stuff. In here, as you saw, we've gone ahead and put in a couple of batteries. Those are going to be getting welded up eventually. I'm not quite sure when those are going to, they need power cells. They need 360 power cells. Let's go ahead and queue those up really quick. And you are there, so we're going to go... Yeah, you just queue up 500. Why not? That way, if I need to make another one, we'll have... We'll have more. Should have silicon in here somewhere. Yeah, I got plenty of silicon. So, is there a reason why... Silicon and nickel. Uh, and I don't remember which one we were dropping them into. I think it's this one. Let's go ahead and drop 1k there. We'll drop 
one K in here. Which one is this? Is this is seven? All right. What else do you need? You need iron. Should be a bunch of iron in here. Uh, a little bit more there. Not nearly enough to get what we need done, but we have more than a bit. So, uh, Let's go ahead and grab the nickel as well. Now, I'm not sure why these are not pulling the material they should be pulling. That's really weird. Because obviously they're piped in. Oh. You guys are all. Set you to cooperative. I don't care about it being in toolbar, but I do want it in terminal and inventory so we can get into them. All right. Okay. So over here, we have our med bay facilities. We have a couple of uh, cryopods in case we have somebody come in like we did with Sharky this past week. Uh, this way they'll have a safe place to log out and as you can see the the room once it's welded up will actually be airtight um, I'm going to have to punch Probably pipe it in right here. I'll put a uh, can, um, an air vent in So that we actually have an O2 system in here as well We already hooked up the oxygen generator coming up this way. This is going to be open and the uh, the areas downstairs will actually have doors on them. Um, at some point, I don't know if I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to close this off and what I'll probably end up doing is putting in a, uh, a door system like right here and then basically capping it off so that it's it's a sealed area down there but we'll see so yeah you come up this way and we have our flight set our flight system so you can actually see the entire ship looks like everything but that one large thruster is done oh. forgot to turn my uh, my helmet off all right so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to call this one here, because right now it's basically just waiting for everything to finish grinding down and everything else to finish welding up. So uh, yeah, that's going to be really boring to, to watch even in time lapse. <laughs> Mainly because I don't have a, a, a spectator cam that I can use to just let you watch things while I'm going about. Uh, so yeah, we're going to call it here. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, throw them down in the section below. And if you haven't done so already and you want to see more, be sure to subscribe as well. Not only do the likes, the subscriptions and comments all really help the channel to grow and get more visibility to it, but it lets me know that you're enjoying the content and well, that's what I'm here to do. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Have a terrific week, and we will see you back here next time for more Space Engineers. As always, folks, take care and be safe out there, everybody. Oh, now we're going to go ahead and start grinding this thing down from the top. <laughs>